What are you doing in Dallas? That's in. Oh, man. <laughs> well, when you find out and hear what I'm about to say about Stays and DoorDash Bennett, it is hard to believe, to say the least. Or maybe it shouldn't be hard to believe, but I definitely didn't think he would do something like this. <laughs> oh man, you can't make this stuff up. When I told you guys all throughout the season that Stetson DoorDash Bennett is a poor man's version of Johnny Manziel, I meant it on the field, not necessarily off the field. But apparently I wasn't giving him enough credit because he is exactly a poor man's version of Johnny Manziel on and off the field. Apparently DoorDash Bennett has a slight problem when it comes to handling his alcoholic beverages. And oh yeah, by the way, we're not doing no intro, none of that. We're talking about one topic and one topic only. Before we go any farther, I gotta give a major shout out to all of you because you were tagging me in it left and right on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> and the funniest part about it is almost every Every single one of you that tagged me and it was like, yo, Matt, did you hear what happened to DoorDash Bennett? For those of you that watched the video we made a couple days ago, I asked you, should we retire the DoorDash Bennett name and just call him Stetson Bennett because he had such a great season, or should we continue to call him DoorDash Bennett? And I saw some mixed feedback, and I was leaning towards, hey, let's just call him Stetson Bennett, DoorDash is over. But now with this happening, I think we gotta bring it back. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry, Stetson DoorDash Bennett, you have been demoted back to DoorDash. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's lock in and let's get down to business. I wanna make this extremely clear. I'm not the type of person to prey on another man or woman's downfall. I'm just not that type of guy, but here's the thing. A lot of people are that way. And all throughout my life, I've never understood why people can never applaud someone else when they get a new house, new car, or just new something, and they always gotta be hateful. If you don't listen to a single other thing I say in this video, listen to this part. Throwing shade does not make you shine. I'm gonna repeat that. Throwing shade does not make you shine. What do I mean by that? It's simple. Talking bad about a person it will never benefit your life. I say that to say this and we gotta get a move on. If you can never be happy and applaud somebody else for their successes, you'll never be successful yourself. And I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. We've all had that one friend whenever you do something good in life. Let's just say you start up your own business and they say, oh, how's that little business going? They always try to downplay every single thing you do. If I can offer you any advice, it'd be this. Stay away from those type of people and if those people are currently in your life, get them out of there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I know what you're sitting there saying. Yo, Matt, what in the crap does this have to do with DoorDash Bennett? And I'm getting there. Stick with me, stick with me. With all that being said, I wanted to make this clear. I don't enjoy talking bad about DoorDash Bennett. I don't enjoy making videos like this, but I got to, it's part of it. I think a lot of you think I have some deep hatred for states and DoorDash Bennett, but I really don't. I think he's a great guy, I really do. The only time I say bad things about him is when it comes to his football abilities, but that's different. There's a big difference from criticizing somebody's football abilities and their real life. And when I say real life, let me elaborate on that. This would be hater energy if I say, man, Stetson, Bennett, he's got an ugly haircut, he's got a big nose, that's hater energy. But me sitting up here and telling you guys, hey, I don't think he's that great of a quarterback, I think he's got a noodle arm, that's not hater energy, that's just criticism when it comes to football talk. So I wanted to get that out there first. Earlier today, which is Sunday, the news came out that Stetson Bennett, he was arrested. I think I speak for everybody when I say this, I was caught off guard. The said reason for good old DoorDash being arrested is for public intoxication. Not the biggest deal in the world, and some of you may be wondering, just like I was, okay, well, yeah, he got arrested for public intoxication, but how did they find this guy? Normally when somebody gets arrested for public intoxication, it's because they're showing themselves out. Or maybe that's not a good way to say it, but they're showing out, people are noticing it, it's a bad look, and they call the cops. It's not quite as simple as Stetson Bennett was walking down the street and the police pulled up and was like, oh yeah, let's go get this guy. No, that rarely ever happens. What normally goes on is somebody notices, hey, this guy's acting a little crazy, they call the cops, and yeah, take him to jail. Oh man. <laughs> Well, when you find out and hear what I'm about to say about Stays and DoorDash Bennett, it is hard to believe to say the least. Or maybe it shouldn't be hard to believe, but I definitely didn't think he would do something like this. According to the police officers, quote unquote, the 25 year old was taken into custody around 6 a.m. to reports of a man banging on doors off Tribeca Way in Old East Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, the reports of a man, if you're confused on that, that's Stetson Bennett. He's the man banging on doors at 6 a.m. 
<laughs> As to why he was banging on doors, we don't know. They haven't came out with that information. I'm sure he'll explain himself in a couple of days. And that's all there is to it. But however, recently, and I mean just recently as when I'm filming this video, there's been new video footage leaked out of Stetson Bennett leaving jail and Matt wrote a clip. in Dallas, that's in. Yeah, as you can see from that clip, you can tell he's embarrassed. I'm not going to kick a man when he's down. I'm just not going to do that. He's embarrassed. That's all there is to it. He's got his hoodie on. He doesn't want anybody to see him, and I understand that. He messed up. That's all there is to it. He messed up. I've had a lot of you ask me, and I've seen this question all over Twitter. Is this what he did going to affect his draft status? Because right now, when we talked about this a couple days ago, he's projected to be a third-round pick. Do I believe that? Do I think that's going to happen? Absolutely not. But hey, I'm not an NFL team. I'm not an NFL GM so my opinion doesn't matter at the end of the day when it's all said and done do I think this will affect his draft status not one bit he's coming off back-to-back -back championships he's on top of the world he got carried away drinking and partying so yeah I mean it's not the biggest deal in the world in my opinion I don't think this is anything to be highly concerned about because this is only the first time we've heard about him doing something like this here's where the problem would really start to occur and we could have a conversation or debate if he had a history of stuff like this going on I hate to bring it up but it's a great example if he had the history of a Johnny Manziel where he was doing this time after time after time yeah it would be a big deal but since it's his first time, no. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Last thing I'm going to say, and we're going to end out the video. Although I don't think it's going to hurt his draft status, maybe this does hurt when it comes to these, you know how he has all these sponsorships and NILs? Maybe he loses some of those because of this. It could happen. Because it's not a good look when you're paying somebody and you're sponsoring somebody and they're doing stuff like this and shedding bad light on your company. Because if you're sponsoring DoorDash Bennett, he's a reflection of your company. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't even think about that, guys. Let me know in the comments section. If you're running some big company and you're thinking about sponsoring Stetson Bennett or you currently do sponsor Stetson Bennett... Would you pull that away because of this? That's an interesting conversation. Because although it's his first time doing this, and he made a mistake, we're human, we're going to make mistakes, it's still, and I know I said it, I'm going to say it again, it is not a good look for the company. You don't want to sponsor people who are getting arrested, whether it's the first time or the fifth time. I really don't know how to feel about it, but if I was running a company, I will say this. It doesn't help his case whatsoever and it would be some pushback from my part for example if i was thinking about giving him a sponsorship i might have to rethink that so the only backlash and downside of this is he may lose some money when it comes to sponsorships outside of that he'll be okay we'll forget about this in six to eight months from now let me know your thoughts down below but uh, what are you doing in dallas that's it